the concept of simple molecular substances for chemistry. In after going through this video, you will know the simple molecular substances or how to do their basic dot and cross diagrams. Now, simple molecular substances are made up of molecules containing a few atoms joined together by covalent bonds. All right, so in this video, we're going to look at some common examples that you should know for chemistry. So let's go into the details of the video. Remember, we're looking at simple molecular substances. All right, so let's begin with hydrogen molecule or hydrogen gas. Now, hydrogen atoms have just one electron. They only need one more to complete their first shell. So they often form single covalent bonds, either with other hydrogen atoms or with other elements to achieve stability. All right, to achieve this. Okay, so to represent the dot and cross diagram of hydrogen molecule, it's going to be something like this. This will be the first hydrogen atom, the nucleus, and uh, this will be the second one. So basically, this is what we're going to happen here. All right, so they will form single covalent bonds. They will donate the, a pair of electrons. So this is what we're going to happen here. We will donate it. All right, so this will be the dot and cross diagram of hydrogen molecule. You can decide to elaborate this, your hydrogen atom. All right, so this is for hydrogen molecule. Now, let's look at another example, chlorine molecule. Let's write this. Okay, now we are looking at chlorine molecule or chlorine gas. Now, each chlorine atom needs just one more electron to complete the outer shell. So, two chlorine atoms can share one pair of electrons and form a single covalent bond. All right, so chlorine molecule or gas forms a single covalent bond as well with hydrogen molecule. As we all know, chlorine has seven number of electrons in the outer shell. So, they will need one more electron. They will gain one more to achieve stability with normal gas. All right, so let's represent the dot and cross structure of it. So this will be the first chlorine atom. This is the first shell. And uh, this will be the second shell. All right, so it has seven electrons. Now, the second chlorine atom, this is the first shell okay this is what we want to happen here all right so it's we now bond with this so these two chlorine atoms now we share one pair of electrons and form single covenant bond all right so this is basically what's happening here remember this will be the second chlorine atom all right so now they have achieved what stability you can decide to label this your chlorine atom or not all right so this will the first chlorine atom this is the second word chlorine atom so it's as simple as that guys now let's look at another example this is my one let's look at oxygen molecule let's write this okay so we are looking at oxygen molecule now each oxygen atom needs two more electrons to complete its outer shell. So in oxygen gas, two oxygen atoms share two pairs of electrons with each other, making a double covalent bond. All right, so as we know, oxygen has eight atomic number, and it has six number of electrons in the outer shell. So it will need to gain two more electrons to achieve stability with noble gas. All right, so let's represent the dots and cross diagram of oxygen molecule. So it's going to be something like this. This will be the first oxygen atom. All right. So this is the second shell. Okay. So we have. So this is the electron. Now this will be the second oxygen atom. This is the first shell. All right. Now. We are going to have this will be the second shell, so it's going to bond with this oxygen atom here. All right, so basically, this is what we're going to have now. Here, the oxygen gas, the oxygen atoms share 
two pairs of electrons with each other. So they will share two pairs of electrons here. So this is this was going to be two pairs of electrons to achieve our stability. All right. So if you check it now, we now have, and then you count the number of electrons now in the outer shell two four six eight two four six eight. All right. So the oxygen molecule has now achieved what stability. Okay. So this is basically what happened here. This is the first oxygen atom. This is the second word, oxygen atom. All right. So guys, take note of this. Okay. Because for your MCQ chemistry question, you might be asked the type of bond formed in oxygen molecule. So is double covalent bond. Take note of this. All right. So let's look at another example, nitrogen molecule. Oh God, this time I want. Let's write this. Okay. So we are looking at nitrogen molecular gas and nitrogen atoms need three more electrons so the two nitrogen atoms share three pairs of electrons to fill the outer shells this creates a triple covalent bond all right as you know nitrogen has seven atomic number and five number of electrons in the outer shell so they need to gain three more electrons to achieve stability so let's represent the dot and cross diagram of nitrogen molecule so it's going to be something like this this is the first nitrogen atom all right this is the second shell okay so yeah we're going to have two electrons here yeah. let's just write these two first now the second nitrogen atom this will be the first shell okay now this will be the second shell Okay, so they are going to try three pairs of electrons to fill the outer shell. So basically, this is how it's going to be. All right, so we now have three pairs of electrons, we now have stability. All right, this nitrogen atom, so we can decide to elaborate this here nitrogen atom. So this is the dot and cross diagram of nitrogen molecule all right if you check the outer shell it now has stability this c is inside plus the two at the extreme of the atoms will make it eight respectively all right so that's the nitrogen molecule now let's look at another example remember i'll show you examples you need to know for simple molecular substances all right so let's write this okay so for water molecule h so now in water molecules the oxygen shares a pair of Electrons with two hydrogen atoms to form two single covalent bonds. All right, so note this for MCQ chemistry questions. What are formed single covalent bonds? Two single covalent bonds. All right, now let's draw the dot and cross diagram for it. This will be the first shell. Okay. Okay, now this will be the second shell. All right, so oxygen has eight atomic number and six number of electrons in the second shell. All right, so this basically what it's going to look like. So it's we now share pair of electrons with the hydrogen atoms. All right, so this will be the hydrogen atoms. Okay. So this is basically what happened. Okay. All right. This is the nucleus of the hydrogen. All right. So you can decide to label this hydrogen at all. But the center is the oxygen. All right. So this is the dot and cross diagram of water molecule. Now let's write this and look at that of methane molecule or gas let's write this okay now for methane molecule ch4 all right so basically carbon has four outer electrons which is half a full shell it can form four covalent bonds with hydrogen atoms to fill up its outer shell okay so let's represent the dot and cross diagram of methane molecule or gas all right so this will be the carbon atom Alright, so this will be the second shell. 
So it will now share four pairs of electrons to complete its outer shell. All right, this will be the hydrogen atoms respectively. All right. Okay, so they are sharing pairs of electrons. All right, so this will be the first pair. This will be the second pair. This will be the third pair. This will be the fourth pair. All right, so this is the nucleus. You can decide to label this your hydrogen atom. Okay. All right, so the center diagram is for carbon. All right, you can decide to label this your carbon. All right, so this will be the dot and cross diagram of methane gas or molecule. So it forms four covalent bonds with hydrogen atoms to fill up its outer shell. Okay, now lastly, let's look at hydrogen chloride molecule. Now that you can call it a class, let's write this. Okay, so for hydrogen chloride molecule now this is very similar to hydrogen molecule and chlorine molecule all right both atoms only need one more electron to complete the outer shell so let's draw the dot and cross diagram for hydrogen chloride molecule all right so it's going to be something like this let's begin with hydrogen atom okay now this hydrogen atom is going to share a pair of electrons with chlorine atom all right so this will be the first shell for chlorine atom it has two electrons so this will be the second shell it has eight electrons And this will be a dead shell. Okay. The dead shell has seven electrons. So it will now share this pair of electrons, one pair of electrons with this hydrogen atom. All right, so attain stability. So you can say label this uh, hydrogen atom. All right, so this is for hydrogen chloride molecule. Okay, so that is basically how you can represent the dots and cross diagram of simple molecular substances for chemistry. Example, hope you learned something interesting from this video. Let's call it a class here. Now, if you are new to the channel, be sure to check the description of this video below. We will still link to our Telegram channel. Click on it and join the Telegram channel for instant notifications. Also, make sure that you subscribe to this channel by hitting the subscribe button for more videos like this. Like, share, and comment on this video. Tell me how you feel from what you learned from this class. If you seem to have any specific questions to ask regarding this topic, simple molecular substances that dots and cross diagram, feel free to be questions in the comment section below and I will be sure to give you a response. Now, I click on the end screen above and I will see you in the next video.